In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very useful and easy to use VBA function called MSG box function. It basically looks like this. It's a super easy way to get info dialog boxes to communicate with the user and also get simple responses like OK, yes, no, or cancel. Now you can use it, for example, to inform them that the macro has just finished running or to double check with them before they run the macro, especially if your code is deleting stuff. Now, the best thing is that you don't have to design it. It's an inbuilt function. You just have to call it. This video is part of my online VBA course. If you're interested to find out more, check out the link in the description or go to xelplus.com slash courses. Our first task is to create a welcome message for the user. Okay, so here we're just informing them. Our second task is to create a macro that's gonna clear these values. But before we clear them, we wanna double check with the user if they're sure they wanna clear. So here, we need to get a response from them. Let's bring up Visual Basic, Alt F11. First, create a simple sub-procedure. Let's call it simple MSG box for the welcome message. I'm gonna to switch to single procedure view and collapse this. To write the message box function, you can directly type it in if you remember the syntax. And if you don't, you can get to it through IntelliSense by typing in VBA dot and it's directly in the global library or you can get to it through going through the correct compartment and that's in the interaction class dot message box. Okay, so regardless of how you type this, you get the same result. The arguments for a message box are the following. So first is a mandatory argument called prompt. The rest are optional. Now let's say our prompt here is hello. Okay, that's all I need to type. I'm gonna press enter. That's the message box in its simplest form. So when I press play, we get hello. Now let's take a look at the other arguments. We can define a button style, and we can also define what the default buttons are. But in this case, since we're just informing them, we don't need more than one button, we can skip this argument. So notice that I'm going through this like a formula, but you have the option of also referencing the arguments that you want. Next argument here is the title, and I'm gonna put in a welcome here. The rest, help file, context, I don't need. And we can see here that the result of a message box is saved in something called VB message box result, right? That's something that we need if we are gonna capture the answer. So if we had more than one button here. So in this case, we don't, so it's enough just to do this. Now we can also personalize this a little bit and we can do hello and combine it with the username. So I'm gonna to get to it through IntelliSense using application.username. Okay, so let's run this. We say, hello, Lele Grani, and the title is something we change to welcome. Otherwise, you just see Microsoft Excel there. Okay, we can even define a button for this. So I'm gonna insert a form control, assign it to the macro, call this welcome. And you can even add symbols to your buttons. Okay, just make sure that the correct one is in front. So I'm going to right mouse click, bring to front, add this here, assign a macro also to this symbol, and then group them together. Okay, so when we click this, we see hello Lele Garani. Now later we're also going to learn about events. So if you ever wanted a welcome message to pop up every time the user opens your Excel workbook, you need to work with Excel's events. And that's something that we cover in a future section. Now let's just type this up another way by referencing the arguments separately. So I'm gonna do prompt, then you need the colon and the equal sign. And then I wanna take 
this one. So I'm going to copy this and also add a dot in the end. So don't forget that whenever you're combining variables with text, you do need that quotation mark. Now, if we want to go to the next line, we can use VB new line. And let's add a second text called thanks for stopping by. Now I'm going to add space and underscore to go to the next line. The title is welcome. Okay, let's just comment this one out and let's run this. Hello, Lady Granny. Thanks for stopping by. Now let's move on to task two. We want to clear values here, but before we want to double check with the user. For this, I'm going to create a new sub called yes, no message box. Now this time we want to capture the result of the message box function. So I'm going to dim a variable that I'm just going to call answer as VB message box result. So now we need to assign it. We're going to assign answer to message box. Now, because we're on the right side of the equal sign, we need the brackets here. Let's put in, are you sure about this? We want to add special buttons. So let's go with VB yes, no. Then if you want to add more styles to this, just put in the plus sign. We could do VB question to get the question mark in the form and we could assign a default button. So yes would be default number one. That means that that button is highlighted. And if we want no to be highlighted, we have to go with default button two. So in this case, I'm going to go with default button two. For the title, I'm going to add clear cells. Okay, so now we need to see what the user clicked on and decide on the outcome that we want to take. So if answer is VB yes, then we want to clear that range. Else, we want to leave this up. Let's now also create a button for this one and assign our macro to it. Let's click this. Are you sure about this? Notice that the default button is no. So if I press enter, it's going to exit this up. Now I can go with my keyboard to yes and press enter or go with my mouse. I'm going to press enter. The values are cleared. So that's how you can use VBA's message box function to interact with the user. If you like this video, I'd be happy if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to learn more about Excel, consider subscribing. This video was brought to you by Unlock Excel VBA and Macros course, where you're going to learn how to simplify your work and how to save time by automating complex and routine tasks. We're going to go from beginner all the way to advanced. For more information, check out the description of this video or go to xelplus.com courses.